Congress, Joe Ajayro, has agreed to honor the invitation from the Nigeria Police Force on Wednesday, August 29th. Ajayro was summoned by the police over alleged criminal conspiracy, terrorism financing, treasonable felony, subversion, and cybercrime. Through his lawyers, Falano and Falano Chambers, Ajayro has requested details of the allegations leveled against him, citing Section 36 of the Nigerian Constitution. The police are expected to provide the requested information before the scheduled interview. Now recall that the Nigerian police force conducted a raid on the Nigerian Labour Congress office in Abuja on the 7th of August, acting on intelligence that is suspect described by the police as an international sub subversive element was operating from the NLC complex. Meanwhile, the Nigerian Labour Congress has directed its members to prepare for an indefinite strike if anything happens to its president, Joe Ajero. Joining us is the Nigerian Labour Congress National Head of Information, Benson Ukba. Good morning and uh, thanks for joining us. My pleasure to be here. All right. Um, I mean, we probably would just start with recent updates. Um, I, I, the news reports say that the NLC is asking for more time before Joe Ajero uh, honors this police investigation. So cl clarify with us, you know, will he be honoring the investigation? How much more time is he requesting for? And what's the mood around the NLC concerning this um, invitation? Yes, thank you very much. We, as a law-abiding citizen and as a law-abiding organization, Congress President Joe Adair will be honoring this invitation. However, due to a combination, <coughs> excuse me, of reasons, including the shortness of time. We got this invitation, I think, um, uh, in the evening of the 19th, and he was asked to report 10 o'clock the next day. And uh, so he did, through his attorneys, ask for time to, um, to adequately uh, present himself before the police. He also did ask for the details of these allegations in order to be able to respond uh, fully to the inquiry of the police. Of course, the neck of the Nigerian Labour Congress had an emergency meeting yesterday uh, during which certain decisions were taken. Uh, because uh, a criminal conspiracy, treasonable felony, uh, um, terrorism financing, and cyber crime are not your regular uh, charges or crimes. At this, at this point in time, let me explain that they have not uh, formally charged him, but, this, but these are telltale signs. And, and they are not your regular uh, offenses or crimes. Uh, these are maximum penalty carrying uh, um, uh, offenses or crimes. And uh, this tells you that the state, as we pointed out earlier on, uh, has been planning this and um, First, first through the first through the letter by the registrar of the trade unions asking uh, the Congress to explain its role or its relationship with the Labour Party. Government just woke up and decided to do this, um, citing Section 15 of the Trade Unions Act, and uh, secondly. Uh, government wanting to in interfere in the running of the trade unions via the issue of demanding that uh, union leaders should hold office for I mean for two years. Yeah. So all, all this all right. preceded. I mean, yeah. all right, Mr. Alpha, because of time, I, I want us to quickly answer as many of questions as possible. There, of course, you know, was the raid on the NLC um, um, building in the Abuja on the seventh of August. Um, the police said it was targeted at one specific individual. Um, do you have any information as to who that individual is and his relationship maybe with the NLC or George Eru? 
I think only the police are in a position to answer that question. All right. And, and let me and, and let me quickly let me quickly answer this. If the police were interested in an individual on the second floor, what took them to the tenth floor? And what did they do on the tenth floor? Okay. And if they were interested in an individual, and I say, uh, our headquarters is not a residential building. Who were they expecting to get at 8.39 o'clock? If they were interested in, in, in such an individual, um, it should have been obvious for them to, I mean, to, I mean, to do their raid in the afternoon when that individual could be available. But in any case, if, the, if they had their intelligence well, if it was credible intelligence, right. what stopped them from, I mean, from sharing this information with anyone else in leadership? Okay, we're going to also, that, what we're going that, to do that, is... that will jeopardize. No, I should respond to you. And, and, if, and, and, and if they felt that would jeopardize operation, why, I mean, why wouldn't they do that at the H hour? That is the hour of, I mean, of, I mean, of, I mean of, of strike. So, so I do not know of any uh, terrorist or high crook that resides in NLC or that, or, or that conducts business in NLC building. I mean, the police should tell us with facts and, and figures. All right, we hope that we can hear um, an explanation from the police, but we are out of time. If you can, please help us sum up your answer in a minute. What is the update regarding the strike? And uh, is there really going to be a strike there? Nigerians, do you think that the NLC would get the support of the Nigerians with this strike if Chuajayo is arrested? Well, I want to tell you this moment that there is high intensity mobilization going on in case. And I do think that uh, the Nigerians will positively respond to this issue because you remember, you remember the point that when they came for the Jews, I said I was not a Jew. When they came for the teachers, I said I was not a teacher. When they came for ABCD, by the time they came for me, there was no one to cry for me. Because this is intimidation, the shutting down of the democratic space, the gagging of Nigerians, the gagging of lawful dissent and all of that. And that is not going to be acceptable to us. Nobody is going to shut us out or shut us down in this country. Nigeria is a robust country full of energetic, prolific, active, and hardworking citizens. Nobody, no president can change that. And let those in power now remember their own history. Thank you.